South of Bribe Island is Beachmere, a seaside town that's absolutely lacking in pretension. Unlike its flashy gold and sunshine coast cousins, this beach community has a subdued appeal and an old-fashioned pace. And if you're a fan of that, well, you are going to love this. Heritage Carriages is based at Beachmere and owned by Stephen Hillary Graham. This is their Bye. gentle Clydesdale buddy who's doing the hard work today. Come on, walk on. Good boy. Steve and Hillary host wagon joyrides through the quiet country lanes of their beachside hamlet. Now, how do you describe this? Is this a wagonette? Yeah, it's called a sociable wagonette, and pretty much any wagon where the seats run along the wagon at the back. They date back basically hundreds and hundreds of years. There's, uh, it's not really clear where, when they started, but I think peasants used them for w way back through the ages. Except this one's now got mod cons like lights CD. and indicators and what a CD player. Yeah, music and... <laughs> this clip-clop tour of Beachmere is just one on offer. Come on, buddy. Hop. 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 Steve and Hillary can also take you for a sunset jaunt along the Bribey beachfront. That, I think, people don't realise just how romantic it is. <laughs> but it really is fun just sitting in the back and um, cruising along and watching the sunset over the Glasshouse Mountains. Um, shall we trot a little? So, how did Hillary, Steve and Buddy find themselves doing this? Well, it all began with a little red wagon. The first in their collection of horse-drawn carriages. This is the land out? Yes. It just says Royal Weddings. Yes, it does. It's really good in weddings and it's actually the top carriage that they always use, like if you see in a parade or anything like that. Now, this to me says what? Mountain bike, Mad Max. What sort of coach is this? Well, it's, it's a competition carriage, and the groom stands on the back, right. and the driver sits in there, and that's called a suicide seat, if you want to sit on that. <laughs> um, and hang and, on. Yes, and it's for cross-country racing. There's delayed steering, so the horses corner just before the, the carriage does. It's very fancy. And this one, slightly different. Yes, this is Hillary's Christmas present that got us into it all. We may use it for training because it's a nice, light, easy carriage to land in. For training? You know, one side of my family, I come from a long line of carriage builders, so I reckon it's in the blood. Can I have a go? I think you should have a go. To do that, of course, I'll need a horse. So, Hillary's preparing Mickey for my first lesson. Mick's a former trotting champion. Hope he doesn't mind a novice at the reins. So what we have to do is we have to put the shafts, which are these wooden things, in through the tugs on the harness. Right. Can you see a little leap on the side? Yeah. So we pop that in there. OK. And then we get Mickey to go back. Until it's on that silver. Okay. That wall, Mickey. This is a lot more complicated than getting and just turning the, <laughs> turning the ignition, isn't it? Yes. And people would do this every day before they took their horse out. To That's right. Yes. Go to town. Yes. Now you're telling me a light touch. Yes, a very light touch. Lots of little corrections on the steering. Okay. Otherwise, if you start steering heavily to one side, you could end up zigzagging down the street. And. And just lots of voice, lots of reassurance. And can you spoil or harden their mouth with these the same as you can with exactly normal Exactly the riding. same with riders, and with riding, yes. Sure. So do you want to try and do the turn? Heritage Carriages operates from Beachmere and offers wagon joy rides in the area by appointment. A half hour ride costs $10 per adult and $5 per child with a minimum $50 booking fee. Carriages are also available for weddings. And if you'd like to follow my lead, Steve teaches carriage driving at $100 per hour lesson. OK, Mickey, woo. Well done, Mickey. He's a well-trained horse, isn't he? He is. That was excellent. Well done, Martin. But obviously he's... Well, no, it's the horse. It's the horse, really. And of course it is in the blood. <laughs>